Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Celia would like to introduce you to Freeman Jones. And when I first spoke to him, I thought, oh, this is a good one. He's quite clever. We're having a proper conversation. But when I listened back to the first conversations, I realised that actually wasn't true. I was being Celia, and so Celia was trying to have a proper conversation. But if you listen to his half of the conversation, it was no more real than any of the others that any of the other girls have. Hi, he said. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How did you sleep? Well, thanks. OK, where are you from? I live in Durham in the north of England. Where are you? Wow! Nice. Oh, you know Durham? I'm in California, United States. Where in California? No, he said in reply to her asking if he knew Durham. San Francisco. OK. How old are you? And then he called her. But very quickly, before he does call her, don't forget to like this video. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. It's free. And then you'll know when more videos are uploaded. Hello. Are you going to speak to me? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah. I can hear you, yes. Okay. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Can you speak up? You're very quiet. What did you say? Exactly. I said, can you speak up because you're very quiet? Hello? Yes, hello. Are we, just, are we just playing the hello game? Hello, Rory. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. It's only over here, so that's why. Yeah, you've got a very impressive San Francisco accent, haven't you? I can hear you've lived there all your life. No, really. I've been, I've been here for like a couple of years. All right, and wh where were you? Where were you living before that? Yeah, I've been living in Jamaica. All right, okay. And what do you do in San Francisco? I'm working here. Yes. Yeah, I live here. I'm working. What work do you do? Okay, I'm a fitness trainer. I don't know. I'm also in the military. Oh, you mean you're a fitness trainer in the military or you do two jobs? I do two jobs. My goodness, I'm surprised you've got time if you're in the military. No, when I do that, one, like, um, when I'm... Like when I'm on deployment, you know. But when you're not on deployment, you're allowed not to go into work and you're allowed to go and do something else. I, I just do that like um for, I just do it like, um how would I say it? Like, um, I do it to um like, uh, not really to make money, you know, but it's a, like a private business though. All right. It's okay. like private. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do? I'm an administrator. I work in the admissions department at the university here in Durham. Wow. That's nice. How old are you? I'm 55. How old are you? I'm 44 years old. Ah, a youngster. <laughs> Say a youngster? Yeah. I'm not, too, I'm, not, I'm not too young, though. Well, I think you are. Depends how... <laughs> how old are you? You're 54 years old. 55. 55, oh, um, that's not bad, so are you married or something? No, I'm a widow, my husband died six years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, he was a lot older than me, he was a lovely man, but he was a lot older than me. Oh, okay, so, oh, so sorry to hear that though, you got kids? I have a son. He lives in Sydney in Australia with his girlfriend. Oh, his son is in Sydney? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Do you have children? Oh, sorry. What did you say? I said, do you have children? Yeah, I have a daughter. All right. And how old is she? Yeah, she's 16 years old. Sorry, say that again. 
as I should see. Oh, you cut out there. I didn't hear what you said. You disappeared, she said, after the first call cut out. I didn't hear how old you said your daughter is. Sixteen! And then he called her again. Hello again. Hello? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. You you just sort of disappeared. I guess your signal cut out. Um, yeah, the signal is kind of bad over here. That's why. I'm sorry about that. That's all right. So I'm guessing you're married then if you've got a 16-year-old daughter. No, I'm divorced now. Um, I've divorced for like three years now. All right. And does your daughter live with you or your ex-wife or both of you? No, oh, she's not with me for now. But she do come visit, though. Yeah, so she lives with your ex-wife. No, really, my ex-wife. She's remarried, though. Well, my, my daughter, she's in um, She's in Houston. So who does your daughter live with? Well, I have a house there, so... Because I'm currently working in California. That's why I'm stationed, so... She's in the house in California, so like so, she's staying with me. That's how I'll never put it that way because. So you've left the sixteen-year-old girl on her own. No, no, not really, not really. What do you mean, not really? Oh, I got someone there taking care of her. You got some random yeah. person, but you can't remember who it is taking care of her. No, like I got her nanny, and she's with her cousin, so not a random person. Okay. Yeah, so I was stationed here like now. So you're quite happy to just let to be stationed in San Francisco for how long did you say you'd been there? Two years and leave your uh, 14 as she was at the time, leave your 14 year old daughter somewhere else with a nanny. I should have come around. Uh, I, I do go visit her. That wasn't what I asked you. I said you were quite happy to move to San Francisco, stay there for two years, and leave your four year no, no, old no, daughter behind. No, why, why, why would you say that? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. But you know how, how I don't know if you know how our job is. So I only did it because of my job. So I why is she not? No. Why is she not living in San Francisco with you, with her nanny? Yeah, because she's in the college over there. And um, I I travel a lot, so that's why. And where did, you, where, did you, where did you live before you moved to San Francisco? I live in Texas, Houston. And future me can't resist interrupting here, says the man who previously told her that he was in Jamaica two years ago. All right, okay, and that's where yeah. your ex-wife lives. She, yeah, that's where she is, but she's remarried now, so I, I don't know. And your ex so why can't your daughter live with your ex-wife? Well, it's a choice. She, she said she wanted to be with me, so I made her, I told her to make that choice. So. And she's not with you? She's still with me. She's not with you. She's in Houston. You're in San Francisco. Yeah, no, uh, I do visit her, you know. I'm sure you do. I don't believe a word you're saying. Why not? Because no m no proper father would leave their 14-year-old daughter halfway across the States with a nanny when they could bring their daughter with them. <clears throat> so you're either lying to me or your daughter is with you or you're really in Houston. I'm not lying to you. I just well, told you now. Obviously, you are lying to me. Why would you say that? Well, it's just, I, you're either the world's worst father, in which case your daughter would be living with your ex-wife, or you don't have a daughter, or she's an adult, or you're not really in San Francisco, or she's not really in oh. Houston. You can take your pick. I oh. mean, the whole thing's a pack of lies. It's so obvious. You know, even you must realise just how ridiculously, how ridiculous it sounds. I mean, I'm surprised social services haven't um, taken her away and put her in a, a foster home. No, they can do that because I oh do God. visit her a lot. Yeah, I do that a lot. And you're talking about maybe she's not, a, she's not in um, Texas or... Oh. You, you're not saying the truth because I know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Well, well let's just no, maybe, go with, yeah, let's maybe, just go with the yeah, lie. Maybe, 
Yeah, let's go with Ready the lie because you're obviously not going to tell me the truth. So we'll agree that she's in Houston and you're in San Francisco. Well, what what uh, do you do in the army? I'm a, I'm in the navy. Oh, you're in the navy in San Francisco. Okay, yeah. what do you do in the navy? You don't know who to walk over navy. Oh, yeah. Gee, um, my last, last time I looked, there were hundreds, if not thousands, of different jobs in the navy. <laughs> Everything oh, from the cleaner, the cook, the um, ship's captain, the person that maintains the engines, the person that navigates. There are hundreds and hundreds of occupations in the Navy. What do you do in the Navy? Wow. Yes, I'm well. A, I'm, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I'm an intelligence unit. And um, I also operate in the CCTV camera room and okay. I assist. Yeah, I assist on the fitness team. Right, okay. So you're a computer expert or something, are you? Yeah, I am. Okay, so what kind of things do you do on computers? Did you actually train, train in computing or did you learn it after? Did you learn it after you? Did you go to university? Well, when I was young, I used to, uh, yeah, I know a lot of, uh, I do more, of, um, yeah, I I work with a computer, like, when I was younger, so I know more of um, computers, you know. Yeah, I did, I did training, though, yeah. So did you go to university, or did you learn it in the, in the Navy? I learned it from, I learned from my childhood, and, but I learned a little from the university, but that was not much. Most right. course of study, though. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was not my course of study. All right. What What did and you? What can be good with computers? Yeah. What, what did you study? I mean, business education. All oh, right. Okay. And then you yeah. decided to go into the navy. What did you say? Then you decided to go into the navy. Yeah. Okay. That's what I decided to do because that has always been my passion, you know. So what what was always your passion? Yeah, I always wanted to be in the Navy, you know. All right. I loved the job. Yeah. Because I loved the, I loved the, the commitment. I loved the uniform, the respect, you know. Okay. And do you do yeah. any travelling? What did you say? Do you do any traveling? Yeah, yeah, a lot. A lot. A lot of them, yeah. All right, tell me some I of the places you've been. Yeah, yeah, four years ago, I was in Afghanistan. Well, I've been to Libya. Yeah. I've been to Africa. Well, back down. Yeah. All right, where, where have you been in Africa? I don't think I've, I've never been anywhere in Africa. I've well, even been to Africa, yeah, I've been to, uh, to, um, to Benin Republic. Benin, did you say? Yeah, Benin, yeah. Right. Yeah, and I've been to Afghanistan. That's not in Africa? No, it's not in Africa, I'm just telling you, I've been to Afghanistan now, it's not Africa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I've been to um, Damascus, uh, Syria. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a while ago. Yeah. I don't travel a lot, yeah. And what do you travel on? What did you say? Oh, you went to Damascus in the Navy, did you? That's interesting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, do, do you sail there? We didn't go for, like, a selling. Uh, we didn't go for selling. It's just like a... Um, um, like a, I'm not put it. It's it's just like a, a cost, though. Yeah. So you didn't, you didn't fun. you didn't sell your ship or whatever you're on there. What are you on? It's like on a like a we we use a chopper. Yeah, like I told you, it's just like what a, a cost. It's like a, a week trip, though. All right, so you're not usually on a ship then, you're land-based, are you? No, I do, I do go on ships, but I mostly be on land because I'm, I'm, I mostly be on land because I'm in the office, you no, know, most, most of the time I'm in the office, 
Okay. But whenever I go on, uh, yeah, whenever I go on uh, deployment, we go on. Uh, whenever I go on the ship, yeah, I know. Whenever I go on the ship, I we visit like we visit the Red Sea, and uh, you know, but we don't really we don't really stay on water like that, you know. When they got Navy officers that stays on land, you know, they got the ones that stays on water, depends on your, depends on your commander or who you're working under or you know, stuff like that. Yeah. So where did you go yeah. when you went to the Red Sea? What did you say? I said, where did you go when you went to the Red Sea? We just moving around because we got, um, like, um, or uh, just recall uh, from like on some sea pirates. So we just want to like a parole. Sorry, say that again. You went to where? I said, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I said when we went to um when we went on the Red Sea, like oh, we we got a district call there. We got a district call that there's some kind of sea pirate, so we just went on the Peru. You you went to Peru? On a patrol, that's what I oh, said. On patrol, I beg your pardon. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, that's what I said. Okay, so you didn't actually dock anywhere? You we, we, got our, we got our camp outside. We got our camp on land, but yeah. we do go. Um, and yeah. where, where was your camp on land? What did you say? Where was your camp on land? We have our camp in. You want to know all this? We have a camp in Sudan. You had a camp in Sudan, okay? Yeah, that's my camp. Yeah, in Sudan. Right. Okay. Yeah. So you've been to quite a lot of places then. Yeah, because I travel a lot. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. What's Sudan like? I don't know anything about it. Oh, um, you know how it is in Sudan. No, I've just asked Sudan, you. Just said I don't know anything about uh, it. Sudan is like um most of most of the places in Sudan is like is like um uh, like a rural settlement, you know, like a more like a desert. Okay. You know. Yeah, so they don't have much people living there because of the crisis, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know. So that's how it is. Sudan. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that developed, though. No, it's I not don't. Developed. Yeah, I don't really know anything about yeah. it. We've had a few students from there, I think, but I'm not sure that I've ever actually met them. Oh, so it, I know Sudan is a. Uh, it's not really safe to, to travel to Sudan because of the terrorists or the threat, or, you know. Okay. Yeah, there are so many conflicts, crimes, terrorism, and kidnapping, you know, that's why. Yeah, very sad. It's not, yeah, so it's not safe to be on there. So how long have you been in the Navy? <laughs> you know, this will be my like, um, uh, Um, like nine years. Nine years. Oh, not very long then. No. What did you What did you do before that? Yeah, I used to work with a fire service department. Oh right, in Houston. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why did you decide to change from being a firefighter to joining the navy? Well. Um, I think, um, as I told you, I've always been my dream, you know, so I, was, I got the opportunity and I left. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So you've had quite a few experiences in life, then? <laughs> yeah, sure, I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh... I'm glad I did. Yeah. Let's talk about you. Okay, what about me? 
Okay, so tell me more about yourself, like, um, how long have you been working? I've been working since I was 18. I've been at the university for 21 years. Wow. 21 years, wow, that's good. You say, what, what do you say your job is again? Sorry, I forgot. I work in the admissions department at the university. The admission department? The admissions department, yes. No, so what's your, like, uh, what do you do over there? What do I do? Oh, my goodness, all sorts of things. I've been sorting out spreadsheets this morning, which is very tedious. Um, but we receive applications. We receive all the applications for the students coming, and then we have to, well, we spend a lot of time trying to work because we have colleges at Durham University. So each college has an allocation of students for each department. But um, then we have to work out which students w they trade the allocations. So if one college has, let's say, for example, four places for the geography department, but only three students want to go to that department, but five want to go to a different college, then we spot spend a lot of time liaising with the colleges and the departments, trying to fit everybody in, get everybody a place, find everybody accommodation. Okay, that's nice. And then it goes. So what university is that? Sorry. What university is there? Durham. Oh yeah, Durham, yeah, I told me. Yeah. University. No, it's in the north of England, that's what I told you. United Kingdom, that's what I'm saying, sir. Yeah. The UK. I would love to visit the UK someday. Well, I'm sure if you're in the Navy you'll be coming here, won't you? Yeah, I, I I was planning on doing that like on um, next year. I think. What twenty two? You're planning on the navy sending you to the UK? To, no, 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 I, no. My own personal travel. No. All oh, right. The okay. Navy. Yeah. How much time do you get off work each year? Um, you know, no, most times um, I'm at the base because that's what I've got a recommendation. Yeah, but you must have a you must have a holiday allowance or a vacation allowance. How much time do you get off each year? Mm, yeah, it depends. Like um, sometimes um, after our um, deployment, we can get six months to like you know, build family, build family, and um, you know, have good time with your family, you know, spend time with them. But that's um, after our deployment. All right, you don't have a fixed amount of uh, leave each year then? Leave in a year? Yeah, you don't, have, no, a, you don't have a yeah, fixed, no, no. you don't have an annual leave allowance or an annual allowance of how much vacation you can take. Well, you know, sometimes I, I, I do, I do. No, sometimes they do take care of all that, you know. No, that's not the answer to the question, is it? Do you not have a fixed amount of annual leave that you should take as an employee of the Navy? You're talking about the amount I, I receive on, um, if I want to go on vacation or the date? Yes, as an employee of the Navy, do you not have a fixed amount of annual leave or vacation that you can take? Now that's, I'm, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, like, the, there's no, there's no specific amount though, for the military to take care of all that. Right, so you don't have a contract with the military that tells you how much annual leave you're entitled to? No, 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 no. <laughs> we don't do that. So how do you know how much leave you can take? Do you just randomly say, I want to go to the UK for 10 weeks and they say yes? I don't know how to explain it, so you get my point. Okay. I just told you that after your deployment, you can you can spend like um, six months with your family. You know, it depends. It varies, though. Yeah, it but depends. you're not you're not deployed. You're working in the office in San Francisco. Yeah, I'm in the office for now, yeah. yeah. So does that mean you're not entitled to any vac any annual leave at all? You have to work 52 weeks a year because you're not on deployment? No, 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 no. It's not like that, no. So how is like it? I said, like, I, like, I, like I told you earlier, like, 
I can visit my daughter. Like, if I want to go visit my daughter, I can do that like on. So you can, can like you can just take leave whenever you want. Doesn't matter how much you. No, take. no, 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 no. Whatever I want. No, whenever I want. Like, I, you can do that like um two times in a month. So you can take two, two weeks. You can take two weeks off every month. Yes. Okay, so in a year you can take whatever half of fifty-two is. You can take twenty-six weeks leave a year. Yeah, you can do that. But it depends. Yeah, it depends. Right. So if you but, go, yeah, right, so you only you have you only have to work two weeks out every month. Okay, so that's why you have a a second job as a personal trainer. Yeah, that's what I do. Like on my free time, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. And can you do? Uh, you, can you just take two weeks at a time, and then you have to go back to work for two weeks, or can you take four weeks? It's just let, let's just say like two weeks. Yeah, you can you can take two weeks, but like I don't think it it won't be every month though. Oh, you just said it was every month. Yeah, I know. I said that, but sometimes it won't be every month. Depends on the job. Depends on the the uh, the workload in the office. So, oh, right, okay. Uh, so if it's busy, then you you don't get any time off that month. So then, can you take four weeks off the next month? No, you can't do that. Oh, you okay. can't do that. And if it's yeah. not busy, can you take four weeks off? If you if it's not busy, yeah. Hmm. Well, depends on your commander, though. Depends on who you're working under. So yeah, you know, yeah. the only thing we do with, yeah, we yeah. take instructions. So. I was just we thinking, if you're going to come to to the UK, you'd probably want to come for more than two weeks. Yeah, I know. So that's why I want to do that. Like uh, when I'm uh, yeah, when I'm when so you have to pick a month when, when you're not busy, and then you can take three or four weeks. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when I'm on deployment, when I'm like after deployment. Yeah, well, you're not on deployment, months. are you? We've agreed you're not on deployment because you're in the office. Yeah, I'm not. I'm saying that like, before I go because you know we we might just get a call like any time that we okay, you're going on, you're going to deployment in the states, you're going to this country for deployment or stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. so you can just so yeah. yeah. So you better hope that you're sent on deployment and then you can take six months off and come to the UK. That would be better, really, you wouldn't you it? Wanna... You... Okay, you want me to come see you? You can come see me if you want while you're over here. <laughs> well, if you want, why not? <laughs> why not? No, come to Durham. I'm sure you'll like it here. How is it there? Well, it's a very historic city. We've got a cathedral, a castle, lots of lovely walks down by the river. It's a very nice place. Oh, that's nice. I would love to experience all that. You can go to I Scotland. We're not that. that far from Scotland. Oh, yeah, you're not that far from Scotland. No, that's what I just said. <laughs> okay, so... Go to the Yorkshire Dales, got, lots of people go there. Scotland. Sorry? What are you saying? Have you been to Scotland? Of course I have. It's only about two hours' drive from here, probably not that. Okay. So you live by yourself? I do, yes. Okay. Oh, I, I just wonder why you, you, know, you live by yourself. Well, That's you don't have husband. more pictures on we don't have, we don't have no. more pictures on your page. No. I don't put pictures on my Facebook page. Um, I understand. I don't. I don't usually do that. So, like, I'm not a fan of uh, taking pictures and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, I just it's just like being like a uh, private, like uh, being reserved. You know. Well, you're a computer expert, so I'm sure you understand why you shouldn't put lots of pictures on your Facebook page. Yeah, but you know, my job is private, you know, and there's some, there's some detailed things that, you know, that the military don't share out. I don't know why I told you so many things already. Oh, well then, <laughs> maybe you better go away and stop talking to me.
No, it's fine. We can't, we can't talk. So what time is it in San? What time is it in San Francisco? Are you at work? No, I'm in my house. I'm in my house. Okay, and what time is it? It's San Francisco right now. It's four nineteen a.m. Okay, so you like what talking. Time to you like talking to people in the middle of the night, do you? Yeah, because this one I usually get a chance to talk. Okay. Because if I leave, you know, I'll hit the gym. Then um. I'll hit the gym about 6 a.m. Right, okay. Before, yeah. So you do that before, yeah, um, uh, you, do yeah, that before you go to work? Uh, what did you say? You, you go to the gym before you go to work? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to have to go because uh, one of my colleagues has just walked into the office, so I need to go. Okay. So we'll get to some more, right? Yeah, well, I, I'll be on my lunch break once we've just finished this little di meeting that we've got to have. Okay, so you can text me then. Yeah. I'll reply. Yeah. Okay then. Yeah. Bye for now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be there. As you can probably tell, I'm starting to get a bit fed up with our man by then. So I cut the call, and to find out what happens next. You're going to have to watch episode two. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Please like it. Please share it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you again in Freeman Jones, episode two.